It's trendy and it's deadly train surfing. It's the reason two local teenagers have died in the past two months. Good evening. I'm Karina Nova and I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Despite the obvious danger, perhaps because of it, train surfing riding on the outside of a moving train is a trend that is popular on social media. A teenager was killed Sunday in between the Balboa Park and Daly City BART stations. He's the most recent train surfer to die. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke to the mother of another victim and has the latest on what city officials are suggesting. Luz. It's devastating. I spoke to the mom of 19 year old Daniel Baran who died last month. She said she wants to bring awareness to the dangers of this social media trend called train surfing. That trend killed her son and others. In the last two weeks, two teenagers have died train surfing in San Francisco. On Sunday, a 15-year-old was found on the tracks between the Balboa Park and Daly City BART stations. On January 29th, 19-year-old Daniel Baran near the same area. On the phone, his mom telling me they're grieving. And this young man that died recently had done it before back in January. So I know his mother had taken away his uh, phone, told him that he was going to stop his Instagram account. Sure enough, he did it again and unfortunately it was fatal. Our media partner, the San Francisco Standard, spoke to Marina Baran at her home in Glen Park as she sat in her son's bedroom. She confirmed Daniel was last seen on BART surveillance video, climbing out of the train where the carriages meet as he squeezed between two rubber spaces. She believes Daniel may have been inspired by others doing similar stunts shared on social media. No social media posts, no number of likes, um, no great footage is worth um, dying for. Supervisor Mandelman and Supervisor Safai represent the districts where these teens passed away. They have both contacted BART for solutions, but this is not a San Francisco only problem. Subway surfing is an issue New York City is familiar with. New York City launched a prevention campaign in September after multiple deaths and injuries last summer and has even started deploying drones to known subway surfing locations. We're seeing this happening all across the country in big cities, San Francisco, New York. So what can city officials like yourself do? This is what I, this is what I would say. I think a call needs to go out to the social media uh, companies. They need to have higher alerts on this. The minute they see something like this, they need to remove it. There should be no posting of this kind of uh, activity. BART writers like Makita, a mom of two teenagers, want BART to take action. Like the BART station probably need to work better with their security system because it shouldn't have been no way these kids should have been able to get on top of the train, period. We contacted BART and they declined an interview. Marina said her son Daniel was in college and wanted to go to law school one day. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.